question, right? So, uh, wow. But I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I'm, I'm like schooling you. I'm teaching you how to play the game of soccer. And, and I, 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 I can't believe I can't, like, I did just score that one. So you spoke about Montella and how Montella was, uh, he helped you out in the locker room. What about Sir Alex? How crazy was he? Well, Sir Alex was great. I mean, I was young and, um, he, you know, when you meet a legend like him, it's just like, wow, like, you know, we made it up to this, you know, up to this point in our soccer careers. And, um, and he's just somebody who like cares a lot for his players. He's like very, um, he's very, uh, you know, he takes care of his players. He treats them like, you know, like as if they're, they're your own son, but Bro, uh, uh, comes a Sunday. If you don't perform, it's uh, it's that it's that famous hair dryer. I'm telling you, it's that famous hair dryer. Damn, wow. that's awesome, man. Yeah, I, I love. I, I always grew up, well, obviously, uh, loving uh, Sir Alex. But there's so many good stories about him. Like, like exactly what you said that he was just that father figure that he made you understand what it meant to be. I don't bro, know. Bro, bro, and then give me a five star team, and then I'll match. Holy shit. I'm picking Napoli then again. I felt like I, I deserve I'm more. Napoli's four and a half. Bro, yeah, I know, five. I know, but so, that's team. my five-star team, though. We, we call Mike the Flipper, by the way, because he has no team. He just yeah. goes from one team to the next. I don't like that nickname, so whatever. You can call me. <laughs> oh, this is fair. This oh, is fair. nice. This is fair. I, I wish I can pick Greece, but they're not good enough. Yo, I was thinking about you guys. You know what? Why? I was like, all right, yeah, I'm going to do this with, uh, with IFTV, right? And I'm thinking. Do you guys remember back in the day when you guys came to that game at the Steve Nash Showdown? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking right. about that the other day. I'm like, yo, these guys, bro, from there, they're doing big things. That's amazing. That bro, you know, you know you filmed our first ever intro? Oh, shit. You probably shit. don't even remember that. That's right. I remember that. No, nah, right? I filmed it? Yeah. You, you were like, we were at um, Pier, the Pepito, Chelsea Pier. The Pepito Cup. Yeah, was it the Pepito like, Cup? Yeah, I think it was, it was your thing. It was all, so long ago. It's like five years ago. You, you were like, you, we, we asked you, I remember we asked you, we're like, yo, we're starting our YouTube channel. Can you give us an intro? And you're like, yeah, what is it? And we're like, IFTV. And you were like, IFTV, best in the world. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yo, I'll find it. I'll find it. We'll, we'll send it to you. Holy <laughs> shit. That was like four or five years ago. Bro, I was corny as hell back in the day. Nah, that was funny, bro. <laughs> that was good. That was I'm going to awesome. try to find it. How about all, like, all your friends out there? Are they doing big things or what? Bro, we got no around? friends, bro. Sorry? I said we have no friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I said the same thing to my guy, to my uh, to my guy today. I was talking to someone. I'm like, bro, I don't have no friends at all. Like I have like a like a core of two or three. Yeah, but that's it. Dude, bro, that's us. Yo, I found it by the way. I found it by the way. I found it. You got it. Are you ready? Oh shit! Oh my Hold god! Hold on. Let's see if you can see it. Will you be able to see this? Yeah, I see. I see. Okay, it. okay. I'm gonna press it. Hold on. Hold on. For the Lord. You see it? <laughs> That's hilarious. Let me see the that, date. What a throwback that was. Bro, tell me about it. Oh my gosh. I was thinking about that the other day. Thinking about what? The Pito Cup? No, no. I was thinking about um, how like uh, you guys came that time and like, you know. Like there was like the chance and stuff. It was so cool. It was really cool. Oh uh, uh, yeah, that was awesome. Dude. Oh bro, look, I, I found I found the I found the date, April tenth, twenty seventeen. So almost three years ago, almost exactly three no, years ago. No, 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 no. That's no, no. it. No. No. That was not three years. It's ago. Not, bro. That was like at least four years ago. It's more. Four or five. So maybe we tweeted it late. Ago. You guys were babies. You guys were like seventeen, eighteen. How old? Nah, how old nah. you guys? Bro, I think we're 20. No, bro, it was definitely it was more than three years. I don't know. Yeah, I just, for sure. That must have been a, a I don't know. The tweet says 2017, but unless, I guess we didn't post it then. No, 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 no it's, it's much more than that. It's Just, more? It, it was like the first time, it was like the first times that I was, uh, that I went uh, to the Steve Nash thing. Yeah, it was a, it was a long time. Let me see. I, I, let me search on YouTube. Maybe we got it over there. Okay, 2015. 2015. There, there, that sounds 2015. Right. Okay, yeah, that sounds That's better? Makes sense. 2015, okay. There Man, that was OG. I can't believe you remember Bro, that. Bro, we one. have you a few times on our channel. I think like three times. Really? Yeah, I, I think so. It, I know you guys support me out there. That's cool. Thank you. I Bro, it. I'm embarrassed to say what the tweet says. <laughs> I think oh. we're. Well, let me hear. Oh, what? Come on. All right, fuck okay, it. Let's say. Add Giuseppe Rossi. No matter what, we're always supporting you, Giuseppe. We're here by your side. Sempre forza, Giuseppe Rossi. Oh. Yo, talk about cringe. I would have blocked us on the spot if I. Oh, that's. 
Yeah, you know, certain things, like certain old things that I read on my Twitter and stuff like that, like I really want to cringe too. <laughs> Bro, you liked it too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's so funny, man. Yo, Giuseppe, I had a question for you. This one's uh, I thought on the spot. If you oh. if you weren't a footballer, be honest. What do you think you would have been if you weren't good enough to be a footballer? You know what's crazy? I mean, I've always said when I was young, I was like, I want to be like a computer uh, engineer, a computer programmer. Oh. Jeez. Like so, uh, yeah, for some reason I don't know why I said that. That's so random. But if I think about it today, I'm like. I don't want to be a computer programmer. You know what I mean? But that's just like when I was younger. Yeah. Oh, man. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, computer programmer. Like, when I went to Italy, I left when I was 12, right? So I went to Italy, and we had to choose, like, you know, what we wanted to study. And I, and I chose Electrotecnica, which is like electrician slash programming. You know, like, like we program. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, uh, we were We programmed, um, like, like, a, like a traffic light, right? So, like, that's what I was doing. And... I chose it just because it was the least of work. That's why I, really like that. That's so I didn't really choose uh, choose it because I wanted to be one. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Wow. Do you, do you know? You were what? confident in your ability either way, right? That you were going to be a player. I mean, I was confident, yeah, but you know, you, just, you never know. I mean, I was always doing very well when I was younger, um, but I guess, I guess, I guess you could say that. You know what I mean? Like always. Always staying confident in your ability, knowing your role and what you're doing, and um, I'm trying to I'm trying to use your your like ability to the best to see if you could uh, pull off, you know, being uh, being a player in this case. Do you know what Peter Crouch said uh, when he was asked that question? By the way, if he wasn't what a he footballer, said. he said he'd be a virgin if he wasn't a footballer. <laughs> oh, I read that. I read that. Derun Derun said the same thing. He said he said I'd be an accountant, which is the same as being a virgin. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, who was that? Who was that? Derun. Derun, you know Derun? From Atalanta. Oh, Derun, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the man, bro. He's, he's hilarious. He's hilarious. Yeah. He sent us that jersey over there with Atalanta, uh, all yeah. the signs. He's a funny guy. In the back, it's in the back. Oh, I see that. He's I fucking hilarious. Who's that, Monty? Who's that number 32? Me not sure. Thir Beckham. Oh, wow, you got Beckham shirt? That's yeah. nice. He's got a merch, too. He's got your merch? That's yeah. sick. Oh, we got to show him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He watches he watch the podcast and shit. Nah. He watched what? Yo, look. Wow, wait, now you can't look now. Best, best, best. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what a oh. save. Check that out. Put it yes. Bro, look. Bro, guys. Look How at, you guys do that? So, um, one of his close friends, like, on his team, uh, watches a podcast, like, heavy. So, one day, we, we got a DM, and it were, like, a selfie with Beckham with our podcast in the background. And she was like, oh, you know, I was with Beckham. And he, uh, we started watching your podcast together and he was asking me a lot of questions about you guys. I told him you're from Brooklyn, this and that. She was like, listen, send me some of your merch. He wants to wear it and he'll send you a picture. So we were like, bro, we, we were like, all right, this girl's definitely mad good at Photoshop. We're going to get scammed. <laughs> but we, bro, we said, fuck it. We're like, fuck it. Let's just send it to her. And just that's it. it. And then she sent us a message and she was like, oh, by the way, I got this for you. And then it was a picture of him wearing it. Yeah, it was fucking insane. That's amazing, man. Yeah. Good stuff. Bro, but look at this. Look what my mom gave me a fucking picture frame of Beckham for, for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. She saved out a gift she over there. The fra bro. She framed it for you guys? Yeah, bro. She just she just got a picture frame <laughs> and gave me this and said, leave it in the studio. <laughs> oh, the the internet dude came by like last week and he was like, he was like, guys, is there a reason why you have a framed picture of David Beckham just sitting there? <laughs> Yo, we were dying. We we're like, look what Beckham's wearing. He's like, oh shit, that's your stuff. It was so great. funny, man. Yeah, I like that. Good stuff, guys. Watch this goal. Oh, watch, what watch, is watch, watch he? My ass. <laughs> but yo, we we asked uh, Mike asked Cannavato the same question too about a player, and he was so he was like he was like there was no way I was gonna do anything else. He's like I didn't even think about um, anything. He's like it was all or nothing for me. Well, I mean, it's crazy, it is right? What it is. I mean, I felt like. I felt like you would have just, uh, we would have chosen something, but we wouldn't have been happy with what we chose. You know yeah. I mean? mm -hmm. Yeah, Canavaro was determined. He said, yo, I had that on my mind. I was like, holy crap. And you, I was like, yo, you would have been a pizza maker? Tell me, what do you think? It's like, nah. He wouldn't answer. He wouldn't, he wouldn't he really answer. Wouldn't answer. I was he wouldn't give us, he wouldn't give us anything. He was like, yeah. nah, nothing. He's like, I can't even imagine it. 
It's true. I mean, listen, I, I don't have the patience to, like, have a nine-to-five. I don't have the patience to, like, you know, have a boss under me and telling me what to do. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't have that. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's, like, hard. Yo, this... Mono last, what a beast. What a beast. Giro, Giro. <laughs> Ooh! Come on, Lorenzo. Yo, come out, come out. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I thought you were gonna come out. I was getting ready to chip, bro. What happened? I did, I did, I did the fake, but he didn't come out. I wanted. All right, yo, you're you're playing with Italy right now, so I, I got a I got an Italy question because obviously I remember this day very well. I think your your debut goal wasn't in a, in a friendly match. It was a friendly against Northern Ireland. I saw, but yes. in in a real match, like in a match that counted, Confederations Cup against USA, the two goals that were fucking incredible. Just like this one. Oh, oh, oh Spina, you legend. Bro, what is, what's what's the feeling like to score for, for Italy, to score for your country? Bro, it's the best feeling ever. I mean, it doesn't get better than no, that. You know no. what I mean? Oh, no. Bro, that would have been, been on cube. You, you scored over there. Bullshit, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> up there with the best moment any, ever? It doesn't get any better. I mean, definitely it's like up there. You know what I mean? Just like getting your first goal, even your debut with the national team. It's like a dream, bro. Like you're, like you know, you're representing a country. It's like all you ever wanted to do. You know what I mean? It's all you ever wanted to do. Can only imagine the fucking emotions. And yo, the the technique was it the second goal that you hit like that? Was it? It was the second one, right? I think it was a tough goal. Yeah, man. It was. It was a very tough goal to score. I mean, um, it was like on a half volley. Yeah. So like, if you miss the timing, it's gonna go all the way up. But you know, people just put it on play for me, and um. And yeah, just banged it in. Dude, I'll never forget, right after that, right after the game, um, I played in Chinatown too. I always played with uh, Steve Nash and that, the whole Italian crew. Oh, and, you yeah, yeah, and I remember after that game, my dad came with a ball and uh, we were just in the park and he was just making me practice your goal, just nonstop. <laughs> oh my yes! God. Yes! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man, that's what I'm talking about. How does he see you have the time to chest the ball and do a juggling and shoot? The shortest guy in the pit just uh, jumped and got the ball and scored on you. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. What time is it? But Giuseppe, uh, yo, you have mad peckers for some reason. I don't know how your technique's insane. You should. I'm surprised you're not Brazilian with uh, how much technique you got. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, I mean, that's something that, uh, something that me and my dad we worked on a lot since we were kids. I mean, just the basics of soccer. Uh, you know, the, like the fundamentals and all that stuff. That's something that I still today uh, uh, that I still do. Uh, it's not it's not something that I'm gonna lose, but it's always something uh, you know that I that I that I pride myself with, and I always want to be um, the best at. Which are like you know those fundamentals. I love playing my soccer tennis. I love juggling. I love uh, playing the uh, playing two touch games. You know that stuff. Yeah, you're playing and you're having fun, but it also keeps you sharp and it and it always. Uh, and it always uh, makes sure that like you're on point with uh, with your fundamentals or something. Um, we we got this question from somebody that um, hmm you you might know him. I think you might you might be familiar with him probably online or something. His name is uh, Dante Petrocelli. <laughs> oh my cousin! What the hell does Dante want? <laughs> Bro, he has a simple question, but he has he has what's your most beautiful memory playing football? Oh, oh my god. god! That's the most beautiful memory <laughs> right there. <laughs> What a goal! Oh my Yo, god! Yeah, that's the last thing. That's the last thing. I'm, I'm gonna let you. <laughs> I feel bad now. What a good goal, Fabio! Well, why does Dante have to come and ask a question right now? Like, he brings the worst luck. Dante, you bring the worst luck. If you listen, you bring the worst luck. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "What's your most beautiful memory playing football?" I mean, it's it's always like the first goals, and it's always the debuts. Um, I remember, I remember uh, the first times that I ever got into the. Into the training grounds at Man U. Uh, first person I see was Giggs going down the stairs. Um, you know, just him just saying hi. It's always uh, it's always great. Always um, national team. I came in the year after we won the World Cup. So you know, having all the having all uh, the World Cup winners out there, feeling like an outsider, obviously, uh, but just great being able to mingle with them and just to get to know them and understanding. You know what it took to uh, to make it to the highest level possible of soccer. Um, 
yeah, man, I mean, these are always the moments, like the firsts, always the first, the first time you do this, the first time you do that. And I feel like that's something that's going to stick with me for a long time, forever, actually. That's it. I, I got no. I got one more, but we'll save it for the end. He's gonna like. You're gonna you have too much thinking. He's gonna try to make you uh, get a comeback or something, bro. Keep asking hey, questions. Hey, yo, you just need two more, and you've you've done uh, comeback hat tricks before, so. Better to do in real life, I have to be honest. If it's come, let's see if it's come. Yeah, but this guy, bro, he doesn't know how to play. Uh, yeah. Okay. Put it over here. Put it over there. Chiro. Chiro. Dude, I literally have no idea how you tied with Peter. We smacked the shit out of that guy when we played. <laughs> I feel bad, man. It's like taking... Plus, I know. Are you telling me? I know. Oh, my God. You're telling me? You're Go telling me? The... This game's rigged. This game's rigged. Go on with the questions, please. <laughs> Bro, just Peter. one last one. What's up? If you had to make your five-a-side team, Calcetto team, who you adding into the oh, team? Oh, buddy. Calcetto. Calcetto's all about technique, right? I can't get tackled. So I have to make sure that my guys... Are able to uh, okay. Well, let's just go. Um, I have to make sure that they're able to hold on to the ball and uh, and have their technique on point. So, best technical defender I've seen. I'm gonna probably go with old school Fernando Hierro. I used to love watching Fernando Hierro play, bro. Wow, okay. I used to watch uh, Fernando Hierro. He was awesome. I'm gonna put him over there. He's gonna start every single uh, action up top. Then we got, then we got, then we got, then we got, we got my dude, Andrea Pirlo. Then we got my other dude that I love, Andres Iniesta. Then I got my dude, uh, Zizou. Shit. I love Zidane. And then I'm getting my dude, Ronaldinho Caucho. Wow. wow that's a, no that's no a goalkeeper, no defenders? I just got. I just need one for Gatchin. I just need one goalkeeper. Damn, Italian saying that is pretty insane. Only one That's defender, funny, huh? Man. Holy shit. Yeah, only one defender. Remember, I, I, I'm an attacking guy, you know. That's yeah. Fuck yeah. Ooh. No! You're not going to score this. Yes! Grande speed. <laughs> what a save. Oh, man. How about you? How about you? Me? Calcetto? Calcetto? Yeah. yeah, who you got? Um, Good question. I like that question. Hey, it's, a, it's a tough question. But they asked uh, Balotelli and Henri were together, and uh, Balotelli refused to answer. He was like, yo, let's just do 11 players. He's like, five is too hard. <laughs> but he's 100% right, man. He's 100% right. You can't. Like, there's so many players. Like, a ridiculous amount of players. Yeah, so he, he, he didn't answer. He was like, yo, we're doing 11, and that's it. <laughs> um, I'll take... Oof. In defense, in defense, I got to take Cannavaro. I'm more of a defensive player, like I said. I was a, a rough guy, so I take Cannavaro in defense. And then I'll put uh, Pirlo, of course. Yep. The third, I'll take Del Piero, who's my guy. Del Piero, good choice. I like that choice. It's good. I want that face. Aye, aye, aye. Uh-oh. Ah! <sighs> I, I need to take I need to take a goalie, so Buffon. And the last guy that I take, I take uh, Cristiano. Five. Really? Huh. Cristiano Ronaldo. So you're so if I ask you that question about the Messi Ronaldo one, you're choosing uh, Ronaldo, I assume, right? So. Fuck. Wow. But I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I'm, I'm like schooling you. I'm teaching you how to play the game of soccer, and and I oh, I, I, I can't believe I can't like I didn't score that one. So my, my answer is different. If you say who's the best, most talented and skilled, it's Messi by far, for sure. As pure talent, it's Messi. But if you ask, if I can only add one of them to my team, I'll take Ronaldo because I feel like he gets his play, the players around him to play better, like mentally. And even if, even if we go down a couple goals, I feel like Ronaldo will be able to get us going. That's what's up. Makes sense, it makes sense, it makes sense. That's a very good point of view. Oh, just, I, I agree. Just have one last question. Uh, it's it's another fun oh, one, but I, I oh. I'm curious about this. I always I feel like I always have to ask this. If you had to pick so, one one dish to eat for the rest of your life, your favorite dish, <laughs> what are you picking, man? Your last meal? Oh, it's easy. Pasta pomodoro with a little bit of basilico. Oh, ah, nice and like simple. That. Okay, with a simple. little bread on the side. Simple, un filo d'olio, a little bit of uh, extra virgin homemade oh, okay. oil. That's it. Wow. Okay. Nice. Yo, so what? You won one, you tied one. Yeah, man, you guys, you're all over. But the yo, place. look, by aggregate, I would win. 
With well, aggregate. Okay, aggregate. But this game was fixed over here. <laughs> Bro, you don't understand. If I'm not doing this interview, if I'm not talking and listening to what uh, Marco says, like, I'm killing it. I guess we'll never know, right? From aggregate, I'm, ta I'm taking the, the cake for this one. Ah, uh, listen. Next week, I'll uh, I'll send you a request. On okay. The Sounds good. We'll cool. complain next time. Yo, Giuseppe, thank cool. you for your time. It was fun. Right, it was awesome. We'll, we'll do it again uh, sometime, all right? For sure. And hopefully this all quarantine right, stuff is all over. Guys, right? stay safe out there. Yeah, yeah, you too. Sure, Hold man. on. Actually, let's uh, let's record an Instagram story oh, too. Yeah. All right, guys, we're here right now. Mike's playing some FIFA. With who though? You might know who he's playing against. We got Giuseppe Rossi. Giuseppe, say what up to everybody. What's up, boys? How are you? I'm here to teach these guys how to how to play, yeah, how to play soccer. We we won't we won't reveal the score. We have it over here. But how was Michael out of ten? How was he as a player? Now listen, he's not that bad, but obviously I'm distracted, I'm multitasking. So there's so there's gonna be a few surprises. <laughs> so excuses good. are kicking in, guys. Get ready. Alright, that's good, man. Awesome. Thanks. Cool, bro. Thank you, man. Awesome, guys. Appreciate it.